the year before COVID, I went to my dad's uh, village, which I do. I try to go every year. Um, I go to Greece every year, but but I try to go to the village. So I drive down from wherever I am. Anyway, um, I went in this time, and there's just one one sort of shop. Mm-hmm. There's a convenience store, which I don't go to, but there's one shop which sells, uh, it's like a bakery type place, but they have everybody who makes stuff in the uh, uh, grow stuff, they come to this place. It's sort of like a little market, but it's just one shop, right? Mm-hmm. And out the front is all these old fellas sitting, you know? And um, I walk in, you know, there's no one ever goes, people don't go to the village very much. And I, I drive in, I walk in, and I'm going to buy some bread and blah, blah, blah. And this old fella there, old, real old fella, he says to me, uh, who are you? I said, um, my name's Mark. He went, What's your name? You know, I'm Mark Boris. He said, oh, Boris. He said, uh, you're related to uh, which Borises? You know, like there's a few of them in the, mm. you know, which part of the Boris clan? I said, um, he said, what's your father? I said, George Boris. He said, what's his brother's name? <laughs> and I said, we well, had five brothers. I went through there. Yeah, he said, I know them. He's about the same age as my dad. And uh, a couple of years older. And he goes, um, I said, what's your name? He said, Dimitri and uh, Jossus. Dimitri Jossus. I said, oh, yeah. And he said, um, what time is it in Australia now? I said, it's, you know, 8 p.m. or something. He said, uh, I had my mobile phone. He said, uh, is your father awake? He said, I, I know your father. When I was a boy, he was a bit mm. younger than me. He said, can we talk? You ring your father. So I ring dad, pop. He said, bloke wants to talk to you. He's a Mr. Trossus. He said, he knows you, blah, blah, blah. Dad said, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I sort of remember him. He said, put him on. Anyway, they're talking for about eight, ten minutes. Like, and I could see this old guy, Mr. Mr. Trossus, laughing. My father never makes jokes, you know. Like, yeah. he's a quiet guy. Mm. And uh, hang up, blah, blah, blah. And I, I said to uh, Dimitri, I said, what, what was my father saying? He said, well, he said, I reminded your father that Mr. Chossis' dad was my father's godfather. Okay. Oh, wow. Small world. And, uh, wow. and I remember your father and we play soccer and everything. And he said, um, and I reminded your father of a time when your father was about six or seven years of age when the gypsies... Or the Bulgarians and Romanians yeah. used to come yep. into the village yep. once a year, yep. put a show on. Puppets, blah, blah, blah. Yep. The really thing they're doing is whilst they put the show on, they're robbing the chi- Nick, stealing yeah. the chickens yeah. and the eggs, but it doesn't matter, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he said, and your father, all these brothers had mo- older brothers had money to go to the show, and your father was walking around outside the church in the square, kicking the sand, crying. And he said, my father, his the godfather went to dad and said to George what's the matter and um, my father said I can't go to the show I don't have the money this was in the war war yep. was on mm-hmm. so my father's house was occupied with the German officers upstairs and oh, wow. the, 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 the boys all lived in the basement huh? Right. so no money nothing no food no money and my dad was upset so Mr. Chaucer Senior said to my father how much is the fare and my father told him and he gave my father the fare and wow. my father was very happy, and my dad was talk, tell, talking about this story. Mr. Chaucer said, my father told him, and uh, dad said, yeah, I remember it. Blah, blah, blah. Reminisced. Anyway, it was nice. And I went home, and I went to my father's house, which straight away, like the next day, which was sort of due to be there on a Saturday, went there to see dad. And I said, oh, I was talking to Mr. Chaucer, blah, blah, I heard you say the conversation. He told me what you said. And I said to my father, I said, dad, out of interest, uh, what was the, how much money, like, what did the old fella give you? What was the yeah. fare? He said, um... I can't really remember. He said it was either an egg or a potato. Oh wow! <laughs> that gives you some perspective, well, doesn't it? Eh? That was the fear to get into one egg or show. one potato, and he wow. didn't even have that. Um, and uh, but it, and he sat back, living in his house in Mossman. And he, I could see Dad think to himself, "You've come a long way. I've done okay." Yeah. Wow. You know, yeah. Like an egg or a potato, and we we can't fathom that. Yeah. Sitting here now, like. Mm, what a we story. can't fathom, fathom we, we, the biggest event of the year, yeah. once a year, yeah. that everybody in the village is going to. You can't afford one egg or one potato when you're a farmer. Mm. Uh, it puts everything into perspective just once yeah. a year. When we turn a bloody, our kids, the Netflix, yeah. uh, you know, Stan, whatever, Paramount Plus, they've got all yeah, of yeah. them. Yeah, fridge full of food and they're complaining the every the week. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so there's some good perspective for us. And yeah. that's a good way to remember, um, you know, our parents and especially if they're Greek you know they came to Australia and that's what they left behind and that's why they did so well here mm. not because just because of hard workers because it was easy to work hard yeah mm. good point because absolutely yeah. everything was on top extra yeah mm. everything you did was cream yeah mm. 
you know like uh, and that that always i never forget the story it's, it always stays with me it's perspective on how well we're doing mm. and look how well you did after well that. but again for me mm. it's all cream yeah yeah it's all cream for me yeah